a lightning strike on Friday evening set up a fire in one of the oil tankers you can see behind me. Hours after that, a second tank exploded, uh, causing dozens of injured people and also about 20 disappeared of the people who were uh, near that area. Uh, those who were injured are being treated in local hospitals here in the city of Matanzas where central authorities including President Diaz Canelo, Prime Minister Manuel Marrero have flocked to see what's been going on and uh, oversee all the works uh, that are being, it's being carried out in this place. The Cuban authorities have decided to request the assistance of Mexican uh, royal workers who have more experience in this kind of events to help control the blaze. Welcome to oil drilling Cuban style. This is what many of Cuba's oil wells look like. They're onshore land-based rigs and they're hauling up the black stuff for this country's energy depleted and cash strapped economy. But the U.S. Geological Survey says there's much more out there, which has caught the attention of Spanish oil giant Repsol. We begin this evening with breaking news out of Cuba. At least 17 firefighters are unaccounted for and dozens of civilians on the island are injured after lightning struck a crude oil tank causing a huge fire and at least four explosions. Incredible. The videos keep coming. This one reportedly of rescue workers running from the massive fire. These are the images transmitted on Cuban state run television. The government says the fire was set off by a lightning strike at an oil storage facility in the city of Matanzas, which is about 65 miles east of Havana. The Cuban military showing these aerials where you get the sense of how widespread this fire is. Cuban-run media says the lightning hit one tank, then the fire spread to a second tank. You could see choppers dropping water on the blaze. The dense column of smoke billowed from the facility and spread westward, even reaching Havana. are just talking about war. Children are starving. They don't even know what for. Yeah. If it wasn't for this and wasn't for that, it could be a better world. Yeah. If it wasn't for a better world yeah if we learn to love each other oh try to live just like sisters and brothers a peaceful world this would be oh it's a great big word you see this morning we want to get right to two people killed two others badly hurt in a lightning strike it happened as they stood under a tree right near the white house the bolt of lightning hit the ground at lafayette square park it was captured right there on video u.s park police and secret service uniform officers saw what happened they ran over to the four people it was two men and two women again we do know one couple was killed police say the other two people who died uh, are still in the hospital they have life-threatening injuries the two who passed away we know were from wisconsin